Okay, open up to your table of contents and we're going to add number 12, quadrilaterals. Put your dots and then your next page number, mine happens to be 27. Then turn to that page and title it Quadrilateral. give you guys the direction and then some time to do this. Our notes are going to look a little different. We are making this. Let me shrink it. So, you have six vocabulary terms that all have to do with quadrilateral. Before we do anything, who, raise your hand, don't shout out. What's a quadrilateral? See what we remember. Keegan. It's um, shaped with four sides. Yes. Four, four, um, four it's just a shape with four sides. And yes, it would have four angles. Okay. So your very first word is quadrilateral. And you don't worry, you're not writing anything yet. Okay. And then when you flip it open, you're going to write the definition any four-sided figure and a picture. Okay? So we'll do a square, four equal sides, four equal angles, and a picture. Second. Um, for quadrilateral, yes. Yeah. You want to draw a picture that matches the definition and makes sense to you. Okay, Caleb. Can we have four vertices? Yes, you could. Sydney. Um, it just try to get as close as you can. Okay. All right. So, I think the easiest way I'm going to show you how I did mine, and then. Um, I will do this with you, okay? So, what you're going to do, not right this second, but in a minute, you're going to need to go up to the rectangle table. We're not going to the trapezoid table yet. Rectangle, wow, I'm talking about quadrilaterals already. And you're going to take, um, I think you're going to need two strips, you're going to fold it in half, cut it, and then you can fold them in half. And then, yeah, and then you're going to have, you'll need a total of six. Three strips. I almost did it. No, because we got to glue these. Because we want to flip them open. All right. So, zebras, go pick out three strips. I hope I made enough. We got it, but we got to flip it up. Ah, oh, who's sitting quietly? I'm going to say giraffe. Go get your three slips of paper. Caleb? You have to do it my way today. <laughs> they can be any color if you want. Um, cheetahs, go get your paper. Really? Mason, can you get me Mariana? 
Stefano's math note, and I'll use his for an example. Yes. So you guys will just leave whenever. And then uh, probably tomorrow you'll do this. Okay? You'll still get to do it. Tigers! Tigers and anybody else? On the first part. Then we have to make a thingy. I'll show you. I'm going to go over the directions again. Okay. Thank you. And then we're going to fold each one. Yes. Okay, I'll show you again. So take it, fold it one. Cut it in half, and then fold each one in half. You can cut it if you want. Okay, then you're just going to take some glue, and you should have a total of six. And you're going to glue them on. Glue. I want to mix them up a little. What? I just told it. A little annoying. <laughs> so where'd you get to go for lunch? Um, did you get to pick? Um, yep. Josh? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bud.
you might ask George. Right. All right. When you are ready, uh, let's get those glued in in like the next minute. Commercial. Okay, so listen up, guys, so that I can, you can hear me. So the first one is quadrilateral. And if you're using marker, that's fine, as long as you can read and understand what you've written. So quadrilateral is spelled... He or she will be here, I think. Okay, so quadrilateral and a quadrilateral is any four-sided shape. And draw a picture. I have your notes. Use what you have, okay? Because I don't have enough for everybody. Okay, the second one is a square and a square has two definitions so one it has four equal sides it has to have both of these to be a square so there's two parts to the definition. All right, math group, you guys can go. Um, sure. Isaiah, pass me your notebook. Maybe Jasmine will help you out. I'll give you guys time tomorrow, too. Um, pick out three. Mason, they're waiting for you. Yes, draw a square. Oh, yeah. One. Very cool sight. All right, guys, pull it back together. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so four equal sides, and the other one is four equal angles. And a square looks like this. Right, shh, guys, come on. Okay, then our next one is rectangle.
Okay, a rectangle, to be a rectangle, it just has to have four right angles. That's it. Parker? Parallel lines? We could we could add that, yeah. We probably should. Two sets of parallel lines. So it has two also. But if it has four right angles, it has to have parallel lines. So do we need to go get her in a little bit? So she's more... Okay, we'll let them problem solve. Okay. Oh, and a picture. Here's the rectangle. That's cute. Which one? Whoa, guys, guys, guys. We're going to move magnets. Okay. Next is parallelogram. And a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel. And they usually, they're, sometimes they're kind of slanted. They don't have to be. But there's two sets of parallel lines. Um, all sides, so it has to have two. Opposite sides are parallel, so they have to have the opposite sides have to be parallel. Are we ready for the next one? I'll move it up. Okay, up next is a rhombus. And to be a rhombus, all it has to have is four equal sides. they're all four-sided shapes. Do some of these fit into more than one category? Yes. Ah, we will be talking about that. Okay, last one. Trapezoid. A trapezoid only has <coughs> what? Only has one set of parallel lines. Oh, he glued it shut. Got it. Okay, so only one side is parallel. And it's usually this one. So So a trapezoid, think of our trapezoid table over there, the reading group table. That's a trapezoid. Okay. 
when you are done, you need to get one piece of paper off of the trapezoid table. Just one. Say it again. A diamond. Um, well, are all four sides equal? Same length. Might be a rhombus. are all with me. Are we ready? Yeah. Parker, are we ready? All right. Okay. Um, for this next thing, this is going to be something that you can take home and you can use to study with. Um, we are going to make what's called a cootie catcher. But it's going to help you guys learn your shape. All right. Are we ready to listen? Okay. Waiting. Okay. First step, you're going to take your piece of paper, and we need to make it a square. So I'm going to fold it up. Wait, before we start talking, you're going to cut this top strip off and um, keep, I want the strip put on the rectangle table because I think we might do more flippy things later. Not today, but another day. So just, I don't know what to call them, flippy things. You can go home and tell your parents I learned about flippy things. And they're going to look at you like you're crazy. Okay, so c cut off your strip, and then you can stick that in over here. It's my belt hat. confusing so I want to wait till we're all ready some of you know how to do these awesome all right so you have your square right and we already folded it this way when we um, cut the top off so the first thing I want you to do, open it back up and make a triangle the other way. Yeah, make sure your lines are straight and take your thumb, guys. Really crease it. Dallin? Okay, let's try to do it quite so then when you open it back up, you'll have two lines. One line here, one line here. Okay, then what did I do? Okay, then open it back up. And now you're going to take your triangles and you're going to fold all four into the center. Um, we did Dallin, but we didn't make it all the way. We did a uh, different fold. So back up. And then go the other way.
and you do it this way, right? Okay, so then it looks like this right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, here's the side with the flippy thing. Turn it over, and you're going to fold all four into the center again. Right? Yeah. Hey, Keegan, can you help Jess? And then you go in half, right? I did it earlier. It's been a while. Because then you go in half and you have your thing. Okay. Let me see, I'll help you. It's going to be like 30 minutes, but yeah. Flip it over, and then fold them all into the middle. You have to really push it. Hey, I did this one better than the other one. Okay, help each other.
Guys, I'm not talking over you. Sitting in your seat, ready to listen. Mariano, I don't want to see any of that out. Okay, we're in the middle of math. We're not playing with stuff. Um, Data, just bring me what you got. Okay. All right. So, um, there really is an academic reason that we made these. And the reason is to study our... Okay, we're moving magnets. Who's over here talking? Move your magnet. All right. So we're going to study our words. You're going to take this home and leave it at home to study. And you can also make more of these. Um, if you want to do one and you have free time, you could do this for triangles also. Okay, and you'll see how in a minute. All right, so what I want you to do, take your cootie catcher, lay it flat. Lay it flat. Open it back up. Lay it flat. And flat so that you have the square corners. Okay. And what I want you to do, so we're not on the triangle side, we're on the square side. Okay. And what we're going to do is on each one, you're going to write square. One is going to be square. Another one is rectangle. Another one is square rectangle rhombus. Another one is parallelogram. <laughs> Might have to look at your notes for how to spell that. Parallelogram. You got it. Do we? How'd you do yours? Yeah. Just write like that. Okay. Then. Oh nope, nope. Leaving it flat still. Then flip it over to your triangle side. Hold on. I gotta think for a minute. Miss Shaver. Nope. Got it. Okay, now on this side, this side we're going to put our same four words, and then on the other side, we're going to put our four definitions, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to just start, I guess, right here. Do you see how now you're on the triangle side, and you have all of these triangles? Okay, so I'm going to start with parallelogram. Um, just in the same order as me, though, probably. Otherwise, you might get, well, maybe not. So I'm going to do parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, Square. So I've done half so far. On the other half, I'm going to just put definition. So parallelogram. What was our definition? We said opposite sides are parallel. Sides are parallel. So I'm going to write it as neatly as I can so somebody else can read this. And then a rhombus just has to have four equal sides. 
So I'm going to put that on my next triangle. And a rectangle had two things. Four right angles and parallel sides, right? So I'm going to keep going. Four right angles, parallel After what? Oh, are you on the other side? Actually, no, you can't have this. I still need it. Uh, you have square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram. So look at, for your spelling, look at your notes right there. Okay, where was I? Um, so we did parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, square. To be a square, it has to have two things. Four equal sides and four equal angles. So, equal sides, four equal angles. Okay, here's the tricky part. We have eight things that we just wrote down, right? There is a space, a little kind of triangle under each one. So the first one, four equal sides, four equal angles. What is that? Square. Square. So underneath it, I'm putting the answer just in that one space. just under it. So then where I wrote square up here, underneath square I'm going to write the definition of a square. You'll see why. So four equal sides, four equal angles. So there's kind of, I guess you could see it, there's kind of like a triangle here. That's the answer to the triangle above it. So you're just going to go around. So over here where I have rectangle, under rectangle I'm going to write my rectangle definition. Four right angles, parallel sides. If you want, you can just, you know, lightly trace a dividing line. That might help you figure this out. And then a rhombus was just four equal sides. A rec look at your notes. You guys ha took those great notes. Rectangle, I think, was four right angles and two parallel sides. Parallelogram, we said, has opposite sides. Oh, it's right next to it. Opposite sides are parallel. That's why we did the flippy thing. I wish we could, but I couldn't quite figure that out. 
Okay, opposite sides are parallel. That's a parallelogram. Four equal sides. Four right angles, parallel sides, rectangle. Yes. Okay. So your middle might look something like this. It's kind of fun. Anyway. So Guys, I know you need to get to band and orchestra. Here's how you practice. So I'm going to show you real quick. Jasmine, come up here. Ah, okay. Take a seat. So Jasmine picked a square. So then I have to go S, Q, U, A, R, E. Then she picks again. Rhombic. So she picks rhombic. So I have to ask her, what's a rhombic? Has four equal sides. And then we open it up. And when you open it up, there's the answer. Four equal sides. Good job. Okay, band and orchestra, they're going to get upset with you. You're late. So, leave your stuff on your